to something else real quick. Simu has been creating several nice drawings for us, and one in particular comes to mind as soon as I open it. Oh. There it is, the Bat Tengu. The Bat Tengu. All, in all its glory. I am the terror that flaps in the night, the caca of justice. I am Bat Raven. And let me see if I can find one more before the other one before we get started. Wait, she did another one? No, I meant an earlier one. Remember the one where you had. No, this one. And here's Samuel hugging one of the Tengus. Samuel Pazak. Yep. And Sammy is promising much more. Yeah, she's quite the little minx, isn't she? And, appar and apparently, Remy decided to go into the room already. Hey, it's so... Last time! No, I mean, she's inside the room already, apparently. Right there. She disappeared into the darkness? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> last, last time our little adventure, you've cleared the first floor at the Wolf's Den, at the Red Wolf Company Mercenary <laughs> I'm Group. I'm to say the Wolf's Wait, Den. <laughs> well, I, I was saying the name, the title of the episode, not the company for some reason. The Red Wolf Company Mercenary Group which you found out at least the first two floors is an abandoned mine shaft. You well, approach the door the first to the floor, maybe, but we haven't even gotten to the second one yet. Spoiler. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Spoilers. Yep. You approach you approach the door. And well, that's where we left off last time. Mm-hmm. I shall attempt to check for traps upon the door. As soon as I get my my thingy. Perception, perception. Okay, that's 21. 34 to find traps. You do not see any traps on the door. Is the door locked? The door is locked. 20 to unlock it. The door is still locked. Do any of my keys work on the door? Or I jingle the keys for him to take. I will attempt to use the key, a corresponding key to the door. Do any of them work? After enough attempts, you do find a functional key. I shall now open the door, but I shall do so stealthily. You do so stealthily. And I shall 22 stealthily to stealth door. And I shall stealthily... Reveal the area, at least as far as your eyes I can see so far. I do have low light huh? vision, so I actually can't see pretty good. Okay, so. I refresh my memory. Did we go up a floor or down a floor? We down went down a floor. floor. Down. I shall attempt to do a sweep of the room and a see if I can find any traps. 39. You okay. don't see any traps, just a couple of old minecarts sitting there. Okay. I shall stealth into the room now. You stealth into the room. What does my low light vision sight reveal to me? You I see, stealth into the room. You see a man hit in the darkness over here, tossing several rocks in the air. Oh, what kind of man is he? Tell me about him. A uh, cloaked figure, red hood, red and black hood, just tossing rocks, juggling rocks in the air. Like he's juggling? Well, t you know, like a couple of pebbles, like tossing them up. So he's just fucking around, I say. Is he, which direction is he facing? Can I get behind him without him being, no without being noticed? He is facing towards this direction, so if if he sees so you, approaching him would would require me to walk in front of him. Pretty much. Mm. You want to knock him out with an demolishing ray? Do you have any more of those prepared today? 
Anybody? I have one left. Okay. Would you like me to hit him with blunted arrows? That would be fantastic. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, stealth over to here to this corner. Let me at least pull out of the way. Let me at least pull up a human silhouette so you know so you know exactly where he is. Stealth is sixteen. Twenty one to hide over here. All right, he doesn't see you. And as far as we know. Ba, ba, da, da. Good thing I'm way over here. Yeah, because everybody. Yeah, because the world would have saw you with that one. Mm -mm. Little other characters probably would have missed me. Fifteen's still a good roll in a lot of cases. Not this time. Why do you think I'm staying back? I make too much noise. All of you make too much noise, except for Remy. Remy is Remy is good. Remy, Remy is, is ninja. Cat. I got a bad roll. If I rolled average, I'd be rolling a twenty-four. Just shoot your damn arrows. No, I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> Fine, fuck you. I don't need you anyway. No, you do need me, and you know it. I would say yes. Shoot through a wall. <laughs> Unfortunately, I will not get my stealth attack. I've got it within 30 feet for that. Assuming this guy's human. He's human. Okay. Well, if I get within 30 feet, I can do the extra damage. Should I do the extra damage? I don't care. Either do it or don't. Make a decision. Do or do not. There's no try. I'm also deadly aiming this. This is versus flat foot. Womp womp. It's an unarmed human. I would have given you the first one if it wasn't a straight up one. The second one hits. Third one misses. The first one like ricochets off the wall and like comes back and hits Vigran in the face. Ow, oh, what the fuck? Second one just goes wide right for some reason. Let's see. Oh, um, a 10 still wouldn't hit. I know that much. Because I'm sure he's got some sort of armor. So yeah, never mind. Uh, I forgot plus two that I need to add, but never mind. Um, plus. Yeah, I doubt a 10 hits. Okay, and... Uh, non 25 non-lethal damage. Thump. All right, he falls. He falls down to the ground, and as he does, you hear a voice in the room. Uh, my friends, I was wondering when you would pr try to interfere with these negotiations. Who's talking? You may. Sorry, my voice is a little dry. You recognize the voice as Marvis. In the room? No, he. You hear you hear him in the room, but he's not in the room. And the individual's knocked out, right? Yeah. Okay. Ignoring the voice, because I don't care to talk to Marvis, I'm going to move over and search this body and see if it has anything on it. Are you sure you gentlemen want to be that close to him? And as the rocks quietly roll to the floor, you see them evolve into a bearded devil. Oh no! You got us, Ty. Clever fuck. He finally got one on us. I didn't see this one coming. It was all a trap. Roll to identify time. Well, I mean, we've already seen these creatures before, so we already know what they are. 22. That's a 20. I gotta add two because they're a favorite enemy. Have you considered perhaps actually adding the extra two in there? Um, no, because it's a roll direct from my sheet. Maybe you should actually, like, do it manually and not suck. But I like this one. It It's more destructive. Breaks things up a little bit better. <laughs> Alright, whatever. 
Wait, wait. Oh, shit. Um, actually, minus one. It's a 19. My bad. I clicked religion, not planes. You suck. See? See? This is why you suck. But they're not exactly the toughest enemy on the block. Again, we I doubt we would need to identify them, considering we've already fought them before! Yep. So, Ty, would we... Are you gonna... Actually, uh, actually gonna make... Actually, you also see a... This is kind of a mistake, because I didn't mean to pull out the bearded devils, but... Eh, whatever. And behind the... I see the... Ah, five, four, three, two, one. When you see the mon when you see the human dissolve, you see one more devil evolve in front of him. A barbed devil. Oh, fantastic. This ought to be a challenge. So is this gonna be an ambush uh, against us, Ty, or do we wanna roll initiative? Uh let me see. At least three of you are being ambushed since these two are st the other three are still out the area. Okadokas. So we're all flat footed. Fantastic. Yep. That puts my AC at 18. Mine's at 18 as well. Mine's at 18 also. Hit me right in the face. Break my beak. Make me humble. Do you really want me to do that? Please no. Spank me. I've been a bad Tengu. <laughs> Let me just make sure these rules are public instead of private. Harder, Daddy. Harder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there goes monetization. Naughty little boys. Daddy, daddy little kitty. I think I think each week we just find a new record of any any chance of monetization is these sessions will ever have. Mm, yeah. I'm not bad. I was just drawn that way. Let's just go in clockwise order before we roll the mission do. Yeah, <laughs> So. First beer devil is going to come down here and try to knock you off his glaive. Uh, actually, he has, to be, weapon. He, yeah, he has to be at least five feet away. Oh, my bad, it's claw then. Yeah. yeah, glaives are reach weapons. You can attack from five feet. Oh, my bad. Feet, I mean. Well, I don't hit you with his claws. Well, the claws Ooh. then miss. Ah, I should have stuck with the glaive. All right. Yes, you should have. That would have hit with both. <laughs> Especially if you hadn't moved. So, next one? Yeah, the next one will be... Let me just... There we go. Next one would be the Horned Devil. You mean the so Barbed? The, the Barbed Devil. My mistake. It's the Horny Devil. It's the one right there. Come at me! Hit me! Make me fear your rolls, Ty. Make me fear your monsters. Strike the fear of devil into me. Watch your rolls in that 20. On all his attacks, just for you. Make me fear. One step forward. And some claws. Woo! Uh, let's see, the 19 hits, and so does the 32. So I almost said 19 is a natural one, considering the red mark there. Yeah, it's a natural one. That's a nat one, so it'll miss all. Okay, so only the 32 hit, so I take 17 damage. <laughs> oh, and, yeah. and, you're, and you're grabbed and feared. I don't get a save against that? Let me see, do you? I know the grab's I mean, all mad. If, if he has improved grapple or something like that, then uh, the grab I automatically get because he hit me, but the fear I don't get a save against? Uh, what would be a save against fear? Uh, most likely will. Uh, give me will, a will. Or if in 3.5 it was your level plus your wisdom modifier. No, it, it, it depends it, on the it's attack. a will check. Fear, um, a, will? A, bar, a barb devil fear attack affects any creature. A DC 20 will save resists the effect. Uh, the DC is charisma based. Yeah, of course, it's, is charisma of course it's charisma based. <laughs> no, the, the, save D, uh, the save DC is charisma based, so yeah. Yeah, his DC is, is based off of his charisma, not mine. Oh. Yep. Okay. Well, that's um, definitely 22. not 20. Now roll a D4, Ty. 
you know, when I said make me fear your rolls, I didn't mean actually hit me with a fear effect, you know. That's not what I meant. Uh, you're now in fear for the next three rounds. Let's see. If I remember correctly, fear prevents me from going any closer to frightened. this devil. You're frightened. Sorry. Yeah. So I'm unable to go any willingly go closer to the to the barbed devil, and I get penalties against attacking it or something, right? Right. Uh, frightened creature flees from the source of its fear as best it can. If it's unable to flee, it may fight. Uh, a frightened creature takes a minus two on all attack rolls, saving throw, skill checks, and ability checks. A frightened creature can use special abilities, including spells, to flee. Indeed, the creature must use such means if it is the only way to escape. So, I'm compelled to get as far away from you as possible. Got it. Yep. So, one boy is going to come up here. And Vic and Vikran, you're about to eat a glaive. Uh first one hits, second one doesn't. Alright, seven plus infernal wound. Yeah, that means I've got a bleed effect. Sweet. Yeah. And now his partner's I mean, going Oh no, that's terrible. And now his partner's gonna do the same thing because that just looked fun to him. <laughs> it looked fun. Just so everybody knows, I'm now at 12 HP. Yes. Yeah, yes. I'm now at a bleed four. All right, now we can officially start initiative. And below 50% uh, health. This might actually be the end of Pazak. No, nah, I'll be fine. I got a way out of here. Roll initiative. Roll initiative. Let me clear the list first. The list is already cleared. Remy, thank you. I rolled average. Uh -huh. Ty, would you mind adding the Tengus into the list, please? That'd be great. You have been added. Thank you. I'm scared. You should be. I probably should have, like, tried to sign saying, you want me to come in? I probably should have. When I heard Stay right at the door. Obviously, you could see what the fuck's going on. I don't need to make it that damn complicated. Also, we could really use you in here. Oh, I am going in. Is Alara going to roll? Is Alara going to roll initiative or what? Yeah, she did. She got a oh. six. Well, you oh, haven't yeah. put her initiative in. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see who gets to go first. 
<laughs> yes, the devils. Oh, fantastic. I'm gonna die. I have 12 HP and I'm gonna get murdered. This is awesome. If somehow you're still alive and I can get to you, I'm just gonna toss you across the room. <laughs> no, well, because I go before you do. I, I said if you're still you. alive at that point. If I'm still alive, then I get my own turn. They'll just run back. <laughs> I have a way to get out of this. Assuming the barbed devil doesn't get, like, this super mega damage attack. You're still that, flat-footed. Uh, that's fascinating. Anyway, assuming that this barbed devil doesn't get, like, super, super mega attack damage thing when it's grappled me. So, are we ready? I'm ready. Uh, it's your turn, Ty. Alright, here's some claws to the back to Kirk Indle. How did I go first? No, you're getting attacked first. Oh. Pay attention. The 29. It hits. Alright, you take five. 20 misses your flat footed? Uh, I was say 20 misses your flat foot? Damn. Oh, it's flat footed, then yeah, it hits. Yeah, you're, you're flat footed. Oh, geez. hold on for a second. Let me find out who this is. Okay, that happened. <laughs> uh, next is the Barb Devil. Please be gentle. Ah, uh, yeah, as gentle as a cannonball to the face. Uh, I'm claw. Gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I hope. Let's just hope Rumi can get to you and start healing you in time. For now, here's some claws to the face. how much damage you do. Wow, both low. I think you just one shot at him. Yeah, dude, I think you just killed oh. him. Yeah, to tie, tie. I think you okay. overdid it. Um, we're losing probably two or three characters. Let me think about this one. Because, like I said, I don't like one shotting you. I just want to challenge you. Uh, that brings me to negative twelve. That's dead. I'm dead. Pazak is dead. Yeah. Unless you want, unless you want to ease up the, some of that damage just a hair bit to where it only puts me in my negatives, I'm gonna. I'll, uh, I'll ease for this round. I'll ease it up to the point where it just knocks you out. All right. So yeah, it takes you one HP short of death. So negative nine. Yeah. Remember, you got to do a con save, otherwise you bleed out dead. Working on it. All right, while well, he works on it, Remy, um, to the rescue, I guess. If Remy can run over and heal me, I can get back. She, she can't. She she would be taking a tax of opportunity. She's also not been injured at all this whole game, so. But she doesn't have armor. She has light armor. It's up to it's up to Jim Pan. It's his character. Uh, I'll give you a few minutes to figure it out. Let me get this phone call. Oh, poor guy, poor. 
healing? Uh, from where correctly, healing is a touch spell. Touch. <laughs> yeah. So you have to actually be touching me. And if you go from here all the way over to here, close enough to reach me, you're going to take three op attacks. All three of them would be drawing a bleed effect. Hmm. Well, that assumes that the very last one would also be using his glaive, because he's well, using yeah. his claws at the time. It's up to you, Jim Pan. Make a decision. I can't no tell you what to do. It's your character. It's like a fucking techno helicopter. Can I get over there? Because... Also, I don't think Remy can reach you and heal you at the same time. I'm not saying that he has to. I'm saying it's his decision. He needs to make a decision. Um, All right, so what's the decision? Hello? Hello? All right, so what happened? I move here and Oh. Are you gonna heal me? Uh, can I even get over there in one? No, you can't get to Bazak in one, even if you were drawing a tax opportunity. So I go over here. Can I cast Inspire Courage? Um, in this situation, you you may want to hold off on that for a round. Okay. And Why? Uh, because I'm going to bleed out very quickly, and yeah. these guys are going to attack me very soon. I'm still flat-footed, and I'm one of the damage dealers when dealing with these guys. Just heal Vikran. Yeah. Okay. How, many, how much of the damage do you have taken? I'm at 19. My max is 42. So... A lot. Do you have a serious wound? Um, before you do that, um, you do need to roll a caster level check. Just roll a 1d20 plus 7. Why? It is a negative effect of the infernal wounds that the bearded devils have, where you basically, unless you beat that 16, you wait, the spell does not function. You basically waste the spell. Okay. 1d20. Plus 7. Plus 7. Yes. Okay, oh, you damn. Beat, So you actually do stop the bleed effect. So how much do I heal? Two, one, uh, 
Yeah, Serious one should be a 3d8 plus uh, your castro level. Okay. So, 24. Yeah. Yeah, I'm back up to full health. Hooray. If only we could all be so lucky. Uh. It's this bearded devil's turn, and he didn't like that, so he's going to walk right up to Vicarin and claw him in the face. He doesn't confirm. So it's nine, or... And uh, he only meets the second, so I think that hits. If it meets, it hits. Yeah. Um, yeah, and let's see, does that do any special effects with the claws? Mm, nope. No. Just damage. Just damage. Okay. So I take 14 damage. Ouch. Alright. Bizarre, my rules of death rolls is three strikes, so... Oh, thank you. Okay, so what am I rolling then? I believe it's your fort minus the negative number of hit points you have, and you have to beat... A 10, I think. I was actually asking Ty, since apparently he's using a different death saving throw. No, I'm I'm just saying that you can miss you can miss three times before I consider you dead, so yeah. Okay, so what am I rolling then, Ty? Mr. Your fort. Dunn. Your fort. Alright. My fortitude. Fortitude's a five. Fifteen. You're st you're stable, but not up yet. All right. All right. Which one do you want me to attack? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. If you're wondering, I want an angry dwarf in here, and I want an angry dwarf in here. Fucking <laughs> yesterday. Let's go, Kieran. If, you, if you're wondering, a twenty or higher would have picked you back up. Right. A ten or less would have been a strike. Popping into rage. Going to move. So wait, are you using fifth edition rules? That's the only thing. That's the only thing I'm taking from fifth edition. Oh, in which case it would have been a ten because I wouldn't have added my two. If I'm going to use the fifth edition rules. No, I meant you're still doing that. I'm just the only part of it is the three strikes thing. Because fifth edition is weird because it's I mean, I oh, like if the you death do this. Fifth edition. The rest of fifth edition was odd though. Ah. Uh, all right, actually, Samuel. I actually what? The death saving throw was all right. Good. Oh, and a rage. And I'm going to attack this uh, guy right in front of me. Hit him with All your right. axe. Chop him up. 26 to AC. I believe that's it. Let me double check. Yep. Twelve damage. All right, it takes twelve damage. Don't forget it's DR. Uh, because of in a rage, uh, my weapon is classified as either as good, evil, chaotic, and oh. lawful for the purpose of damage reduction, dealing with damage reduction. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. So yeah, he you doesn't. Sure he good. can ignore DR based on yeah. alignments. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, because the D the DR is this case will be ass and coal, which doesn't matter because he has freaking holy weapon. All right, so it was 12, right? Yep. Well, most devils have the damage resistance overcome by good, since his counts is good for overcoming damage resistance, that so he can nullify that. The guys are also, um, silver also does it. That's why I have the, uh, what's what's the second call it, arrows, the alchemical silver arrows. All right, and attack number two. 23. Uh, you wouldn't get a second attack. You've already moved. Yeah, you, you only get one attack. If you do not move, except for, like, I think five feet, you can get multiple you can, attacks. You can do a five-foot step during a full attack, but you cannot do an actual movement. Even though my attack. base attack bonus would allow for a second yes, attack? Yes, that is a full round. Yes. Okay. Never mind, then. Next. Vikrin. Five-foot step. This guy's not wielding his glaive, because he's, you know, claw. 
Well, technically, he still is. I mean, you don't have to... Con- you can let go of the glaive with one hand. He used both of his claws. He used both of his claws. So, so we then to, he dropped yeah. his glaive. We have to assume yeah. he dropped it for a second. Yes, he had to. So he's the only one that's still holding it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... Basically, the full round attack that I usually do... Because you've only taken a five-foot step. See, this is how it works, Kerry. Uh, I think none of those hit. Nope, nope, and nope. <laughs> God, we're so the, the AC is 19. Woo, yeah, we're all gonna die. This is gonna be great. Yeah. Well, you want harder monsters. I did. Yes, I did. Yeah. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying we're all gonna die. This bearded devil is gonna take one step back. And, and then attack. Glaive slicing. It's glaive time. Die, Samuel. Carrie. I mean, no, don't die. Samuel! How does that look? Uh, first hits, but second doesn't. Okay, take the eight damage plus a final wound. Alright. Oh, no. Well, he, he can tank it because, you know... Well, he can tank it because he's the damn tank of the party. Yeah. Oh, no. Karkindo? All right, we're going to start with an acrobatics check. To do what? To do what? To uh, move without provoking an attack of all. Yep, you can do that. All right. And I have to beat their CMD defense. Did you? Let me check. I don't know. CMD. Let me check. The, the the barbed devil. That will be eighteen. Work. That will be eighteen. So you beat it. No, no. CMD defense is not CMD. The oh. barbed devil has a thirty-four. CMD. CMD. Yeah. That's thirty-four. He's right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is a CR eleven monster. Oh no wonder it's so fucking hard. Yeah. The, this well, he is... gets one attack of up. Yeah. Ty, I'm gonna need to teach you a little something about challenge rating when after this game. Um, the outright maximum that is ever considered a good idea by Pathfinder's rules is plus three. Like I said, we're gonna need to teach you a little something about CR. Yeah. Look, CR's not perfect, but it's a general guideline. Okay, that hits both of them. 21 hits? Yeah. And you're now fear and grappled. Well, you can get a save, but yeah. I thought you had a 22 AC. No, I have a 21. But it doesn't matter. I'm now unconscious. I'm at negative two. And with that, the barbed devil looks at you guys and goes, I think I've done enough here. You guys should clean up here. And quietly <laughs> <is> back here. <laughs> I think the like GM realizes this thing is way too powerful. It needs to go. <laughs> Look, at level 8, if we have the right equipment, theoretically, we should be able to take on one bearded devil. Although <laughs> actual... It. Although actual CR, if we're taking on a CR 11 by itself, we should only be a level 10. Uh, n- no, Native. CR plus 3 is uh, is doable, but it's considered like end game hard. Like final boss hard. Yeah, like I said, it, when, when it comes to challenge ratings, if you're going to throw a CR 11, the party should it be about a level 10. And then, only then, it should be by itself, not minions. And maybe a couple of weaklings, but... No, that's not how CR works. Yeah. Alright, so it's a lot of dirt. A lot of dirt. I know this because I've been doing a lot of studying on CR, because I've been making my own encounters. Well, I'll be right back.
she uh, draws her weapon. Um, let's see. You know what? It, it's the only option she's got. She's actually going to do smite evil on this guy. What a surprise. Well, she would. She does have a potion of, I think it's, uh, um, I think it's like good weapon or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. But it basically is a temporary uh, boost to her sword. Just roll your attacks. Uh, she misses. This... The dice just don't like you guys. Well, an eighteen uh, they... or an eighteen AC or nineteen AC is actually pretty high. The well, bearded devils are challenging. Barbed yeah, devil is yeah. impossible. Yeah, the be the bearded devils, they're a CR5, and with the numbers, uh, actually, it with should be... With three CR5s CR against us, it's actually a pretty good fight. Yeah, theoretically. Look, we got, some, we got a little bit of extra power from being gestalted, but... Um, it's not, that, not enough to matter when it comes yeah. to challenge rating. All right, all the bearded devils... five characters. All the bearded devils going to do is just get into a different position. Remy? Uh, Save us, Remy. Oh, Help yeah. us. Save us, Remy. You're our only hope. Yeah, mm. seriously, you are. Yeah. <laughs> All right, how much you got? And okay. Pizak and Pizak is awoke. I'm now at sixteen HP, go me. Danny, double. what's your maximum health? Uh, is Danny not back yet? Uh, not yet. 54. Alright. Good to know. A uh, bearded devil looks looks at looks like Samuel and says, I don't like your beard. <laughs> I don't like your beard. I <laughs> just hit on the first. <laughs> Take nine. <laughs> he trims your beard slightly. <laughs> I don't like your beard. <laughs> oh shit, he trimmed the beard. Uh, Bazak, it's your go. Uh, I'm gonna move over here and I'm gonna heal Kendall, uh, with a... Oh, shoot, I've actually forgot I had damage resistance. I'm going to cast... Cure Serious Wounds. Slash R, 3, D, 8, 7. Heal 23 HP. Got it. And that's my turn. All right, Samuel. You touched my beard. Full round. Full roundo. <laughs> it's a fucking anime character now. Full roundo. Well, he is slowly turning to a Super Saiyan dwarf. Attack. Oh, damn. And attack two. Oh, double damn. Like three attacks now. I can. Just give me a second. To and don't you have a bite attack too? Yeah, shouldn't you technically get four attacks? It's like two attacks with your axe, one with the spear, and then one with your teeth, if I'm not mistaken. Then third attack? Oh, damn. And. Come on! Time four for, for my bite! Uh, what the hell four is this? Four for four! Four for four! Come on! Come on! Oh, oh. Your teeth break. <laughs> your, All right. your dentures fall out of your mouth. Alright, so uh. load, load up the damage. <laughs> so that's two strikes with the axe and one with the spear. Yep. 17 plus. Is that 17 total? Give me a sec.
So that's 15, 27, 40, 42 damage. You just yeah. did 42 damage? And since it's a holy weapon, there's no resistance. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, it did not kill it. <laughs> Fantastic. If my bite succeeded, it probably would have killed it. You just ripped his throat out. Arr. Actually, it would have. <laughs> yeah. Grin, you see the bearded devil stumbling from apparently, what's his name's assault? Samuel. There we Samuel's go. Assault. Okay, here we go. And yes, that was with deadly aim, so. All right, so that actually hits. 18 damage. To who? Arrow go sorry, 17 damage. To who? Got as, in front of you. As, your, as the arrow flies in the air, whistles, it chucks <laughs> through Whistle. the bearded devil's skull and forces it to collapse helplessly to the ground. Slowly turning back into a rock. Now this fucker's getting it. 24 Give it to and... him, baby. Both hit, nice. Push it through the limit. Ooh, push it. Push it real good. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> 36 damage. That is a lot of yeah. damage. Yeah, uh, unlike Kiri, uh, Seawall knows how to just roll all of his damage together and just make it fucking add together. Oh, sorry, uh, 34. Minus 2. I keep forgetting to do uh, remove 1 because I'm using a specific type of arrow. Stop sucking. Oh, uh, Ty, you're going to love it when I upgrade my bow to be a holy weapon. Because that adds 2d6 for each attack. Oh, damn. Against evil outsiders. No, against anyone evil. <laughs> All right. Uh, this homeboy still has his glaive. I guess who's going to be another target of it? The Paladin? Oh, that's right. She's right. She is right next to him, isn't she? Yeah. Kill the paladin. I mean, damn, no. Damn, don't kill the damn you, damn you, holy woman! Fall! I don't like your beard. I don't even have a beard. Uh, he hits on the first and horribly misses on the second. All right, so like she takes. Beard. She takes thirteen. Yep, that hurts like hell, but she's still standing. Hmm. <sighs> Garkindle, you're up, you're active, you see the world again. Zuck, what's your HP? Uh, my current HP is at 16. Alright. That's uh, 16 out of 43. <laughs> well, you're going to get a cure moderate. Alright, how much? Aha! I feel no, invigorated! <laughs> They're both 19, what do you know? Well, wait, wait. Oh, I didn't even notice you rolled two 20s. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I already added the 19, and then you already... Well, the 19 already came in, so... It's like you were yeah. destined to get 19. Apparently. Which puts me at 35, so I'm actually pretty good right now. I'm almost full. Hey, Lara, your turn. Well, she's angry. <laughs> Using her move action, she's going to apply her last usage of... Let me double check what it is. And of course, because I'm doing transfers, I've got to go through the website. Hold on. One moment. I like the tangos are over here. We're, we're like fucking playing Patty Kate with our healing spells to each other. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, 
Okay, it is a bless weapon. Uh, basically. Fuck him up. Smite him. Smite the uh, she fucker. used her smite, so. She only gets one smite? Per day, yeah. For now. God, your paladin's useless. She's a third level fighter, which makes her more mobile than most paladins. Still and useless. Better armor. Still useless. Paladins and fighters get the same armor. Yeah, but fighters get the ability to move around much more quickly in armor. Useless. And she misses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, validated once again you do realize that to hit that guy you would need a plus 16 which is beyond all of us that case still stands she's useless he's gonna come over here oh no yeah and Victorin's going to take a couple of claws to the back, or whatever he's looking at. No, he's facing him. Oh, okay. Both hit. Ouch. <laughs> Yo, Vic, you did yet? <laughs> nope, I'm down to 14, though. Damn, I really wanted those beans you had in your bag. Remy! <laughs> Remy, go kill it. No, go Remy. It <laughs> it's time to start singing. Go fuck him up. Go save somebody. This guy carries plus two. Yay, plus two to everything. Uh, Bizak, you go. Um. Hmm. Oh, what's the range on this again? Oh, well, yeah, I can hit that easily. I move to here, and I'm going to cast Burst of Radiance right there. I need a Fortitude save. No, reflex save. Give me a second. I have a feeling that missed it, isn't it. Um, let me check. It's been a while since I've cast a spell. Second level. Second level is yeah, you failed. You are now blinded for one d four rounds. Nice. Let's see, one D four. You are blinded for one round. <laughs> However, it gets better. You take radiant damage. Shiny. How what? much radiant damage? Eighteen radiant damage. As I just hit you with holy with a holy flashbang. You almost maxed that. Yes, I did. And for those of you wondering, the blinded creatures cannot see. It takes a minus two penalty to its armor class. It loses its dex bonus to AC, if any, and it takes a minus four penalty on most strength and dexterity-based skills and on opposed perception skill checks. All checks and activities that rely on vision, such as reading and perception checks based on sight, automatically fail. All opponents are considered to have total concealment, which is a 50% mischance against the blinded creature. Blind creatures must make a DC 10 acrobatic skill check to move faster than half speed. Creatures that fail this check fall prone. Creatures who remain blinded for a long time grow accustomed to these drawbacks and can overcome some of them. But that's irrelevant. Samuel? <laughs> uh, which one do you want me to attack? Target All of them. Alright, this one. I can handle this guy. He's blinded. All right. Was that a five foot step? Uh, shoot, no, was it was a ten, ten foot. Damn it! Shoot, never mind. Yeah. Damn, I screwed up on that one. You just keep this guy busy. Twenty-two. It's. Yeah, you gotta go save that paladin. Because she can't do shit. 18. Oh, yeah. Actually, you're hit you're like this. No, I'm asking damage. That's damage. Okay, Actually, 18. CR5 would, is within her CR. Can't do shit. Alright, ugly. And that's my turn. Damn it, 
Why did I have to do an accidental 10 step instead of a 5? Shit. Uh, you couldn't have done a uh, you couldn't have five foot there maybe. Yeah, I just realized that though. Yeah. The only thing. But yeah, Alara can have. slip in here and you know flanking. Yeah, it's just the you know the mapping angling is kind of off. Hey, Vikrin, your turn. Check all your ranges. Five foot step. This fucker's getting shot. He has a minus two to his AC and he loses his dex bonus if he has one. Do you know what that means? It means his AC is really fucking low right now. Like it mattered, you hit anyway. <laughs> well, if he loses his dex bonus, I get to throw in the stealth attack damage. No, that's how it works. It says he loses his dex to AC. He is not considered flat-footed. No, um, stealth attack activates whenever they lose their dex bonus to AC. Flat-foot is the most common scenario. All right, continue. I need a damage roll. Working on it. Is he even alive right now? Uh, does his skull bleeding out acid as it just gives you the mile aisle, the mile aisles, the tent, the, the thousand mile stare count as alive? Can it stare while blinded? Can it lit? Can it stare while breathing? No. <laughs> Now I'm tagging the other one. 33! Both hit. Thirty-four damage. Is that enough? Let me check. <laughs> Is it dead yet? <laughs> Uh, that's why I actually. I about to say, wait, I think that might have actually killed. No, it's still alive, barely. Choices, choices. Kill the paladin! I did call him ugly just as my turn ended. Yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah, like a bearded devil's ever been called ugly. Hey! I'm ugly. I may be ugly, but at least I have a clean beard. Oh, You shit. miss completely. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I like to imagine I just grabbed his arm right as he tried to claw me. And just held it there and looking don't at him. You, don't you talk about my beard. Arkindle. Let's see. Save us, Arkindle. Save us. I'll move to there, and that's about what I'm going to be doing. Right, it's the paladin's turn. So now she's at a plus fourteen. Woohoo! She can actually do a full round attack, but she's not. I think that hits. That. Well, time you did something useful. Let's see. Oh my god. Yeah, five, five good line damage. As her sword gleams in the sky, a holy light descends upon it and strikes down the back of the bearded devil. I don't believe I have to give a death speech for a one damn one plus four, but that is just enough to kill it. Literally. Hey. Combat is over. Uh, Daniel, how low is your health right now? I'm below 50%. All right, I'm going to give you a cure. Moderate Add three wounds. to that. I've stopped the bleeding on Alara. 2d8 plus what was it? Seven? Yeah. All right, Daniel, what? heal 19 more. All right. 
HP check, everybody. Uh, I'm at 35. I'm 14 out of 42. 49 out of 80. <sighs> I got Sam. All right, I'll do Vic. Uh, gentlemen and ladies. How low was your health again, Vic? 14 out of 42. Uh, save your spells. I got some potions. Okay. I have two potions. LR is 12 out of 29. I have a potion of cure moderate runes I can give myself. That would at least save your, one use of that for you. Uh, let's see. What was moderate wounds? Is that 2d8? I'm I think. I'm going to cast cure serious wounds on Vikran. Okay. Just R. 3d8 plus 7. Heal. 19 health. Uh, that'll get me up to 33, which is enough to play with. Sam, and how low is how serious? 12 out of 29. You get 15. She's got a couple of her own heals that she can use on herself, so just I'm gonna cast Cure Light Wounds on her. Okay. Yep, just a little bit to help out. 1d8 plus 5. 8 health. Oh. Sam, you get the 15? Yep. I'm also gonna chug a moderate Cure, cure Moderate Wound potion I have. That's 2d8, I believe it is. Moderate is 2d8. Plus caster level, yeah. So and straight to date. Th for a potion, I think it gets maximum caster level bonus, right? As far as I know, yeah. Yeah, well, so it should be a 2d8 plus 10. Yeah. Plus an additional 17. Which gives an additional 2 to Vikram. Well, that puts me a, a, technically above my max, so I'm good. So you're at maximum health. Yep, cool. I am. So, uh, Ty, what's this down here? What's all this? Is there a wall here? Or is there a Those are walls. The I look... So this is a wall. In this darkness. Oh, let me make it clear. So did the Devil's Glaives stay behind? I would think their equipment would evaporate along with the bodies. Mm. That's how outsiders do it. Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense. And, and you hear a voice over here. It's like, gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for your participation in my experiment. I might have another one in the You're future. You're welcome. I'm totally okay. Hey, Ty, can you shift the map to where actually perfectly on the squares, please? I'll try to. Let's see now. How do I do that again? Uh, the if problem you can't do is it, don't worry. Just... line to the dotted line squares instead of the solid line squares. That's the problem. Yep. If you can't do it, don't worry about it. <laughs> ah. Yeah, map keeps snapping back. It's fine, we'll figure it out. See, well, I think the next time he makes a map, you really need to help him with the grid alignment. Yeah, I'll, I'll point him to those videos and try and walk him through it. Okay, see as I do it. Okay, set up the map. Map is going to be 35 by 35. Go to D20. Have that map be 30 by... Have the, have the empty flame bite be 35 by 35. Slap them on top of each other. Why don't they match up? <laughs> And they both set, are set to Pathfind rules. Um, well, one, when you're doing maps, it's always a good idea to make the a plane that you're putting it on bigger than the map itself. I'd say at least a good buffer of five on each side. So add yeah. ten. Um, and then there's a little tool that you can in the map uh, rules that lets you adjust the grid by highlighting squares. And that gets you really close. Then you can do a minor adjustment uh, using, I think it's the Alt key down to pixel by pixel if you want to get that uh, insane. I've done that before on maps. Alright, so you're at the door and the door is locked. And I shall check for traps. 1d20 plus 21 is 29 for traps. Uh, what's the best way to describe it? That there's a trap and I have to roll a disarm trap? Yes, you do. <laughs> Disable device, where are you? 
Disable device, it's the team. Twenty-three to disable it. Uh, I'll give you that one. Ray, is the door locked? Door is open at this point. Oh, I thought you were about to say it's locked. I was gonna be like, not anymore. <laughs> I will attempt to open the door stealthily. You open the door stealthily. Ba -da -da. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. I shall. Attempt to discover traps inside the room. 30. Oh, boy. Well, you discovered... Well, this kind of goes along with the door trap that was earlier. This okay. whole room is a trap. The whole room is a trap? Yeah. Okay. Explain. Okay. Well, since you did roll high enough. Okay, you see this door up here? I mean this door? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're on the wrong uh, layer, Ty. Oh, I thought Two things. A... So this door. Yeah, that door. Not to confuse with this door. That door. Okay. What about that's, this door? That's where the trap links up. The okay. second, uh, the second enough weight is in the room, this door was slammed shut behind you. A metal grate wave came down. Okay. This door was opened. And water would have flooded the room. And I have disabled this trap. You disabled the one that would have locked the door, locked the door behind you. Okay. So even if water would have flooded, it's not going to be enough to drown you. Because it would just fill up the rest of the room. Yeah, it would just fill up the other room. Yeah. Uh, is there a wall down this way, or is this? Oh, this? oh yeah. Now that you're there, you can see the whole thing. So yeah. Oops. Well, yeah, you get the idea. So, supposedly, this is just a room full of water. That's just a room full of water, yeah. Okay. So, I shall go... Uh, What's this down here? A couple of doorways. I see. Um, You guys mind, you know jamming that door shut so we can go in there too and help you out i've already disarmed the trap no you disarmed you disarmed this door the trap's still active isn't it ty yes it is all right fine i'm gonna try and disable this water trap thing 21 mm, might want to try a little better 29 that will do it okay george jam we can all safely enter <sighs> Fantastic. I'm going to go over here and check for traps on this door. I'll check these southern doors. All right. This door, your old friend, the electric trap. 30 on this one? Yep. To find it. All right. I shall disarm it. 24 to disarm. I'm going to double check, but I believe that is it. 29 on this door that I'm in front of. Oh, no. That's not enough to disarm it. Nope. 24 is not enough. Is and it in fact, catastrophic? That, just, that just hits the five, so last ditch effort. Reflex. Hold on, I got last ditch, ditch effort. One moment. Let me check how that works. Minus five. One last try. Thank you. I can figure out my own abilities. I gotta look something up. Okay. Alrighty. 21. <laughs> yeah. So, Give me a reflex, read. right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's see. I get to add a 2 to this, correct? Yes, I do. Let me check. Trap sense. Damn it, where did I write it down? There it is. The fuck was that? That's the sound of me rolling. I'm gonna go check on my laundry. Alright, my reflex. Plus 11? Yeah. 
20. Oh. Hold on. <sighs> dodge. Not dodgy enough. So I still take hit. So are you saying 20 failed the save? The save was 25. Damn. So I'm taking 32 damage? Yep. Uh, Hell yeah. This is electrical damage, right? Yep. Okay, I can shave 10 off of that, so it's only 22. What does that bring you down to again? Eh, 13. I'll be fine. All right, now back to the car Kindle door. 21 to check it. It is, cl it is clear. I... Uh... Is it locked? It is locked. Do any of my keys work on it? Uh, yeah, one of your keys works. Then I will try to quietly open the door. You quietly open the door. What kind of cure moderate wounds on my side? Hang on before you do that. What? Uh, I have four potions of light healing. I can give you two of them. Save them. Okay. I'm going to heal myself 18. All right. Anyway, so this door is open now, correct? Door is open, so let me clear up the area for you. I will check for traps down this hallway. I don't want to get hit again. 24. Uh, you don't sense any traps. All right, I'm going to move here. What do I see up to the north of me? Up this way. What's all this? Emptiness. Emptiness. Okay, what about uh, over here? Uh, nothing but dead end. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to shut my door and lock it and go up there with a Kazak. I'm going to come over here and attempt to search for more traps. 33. You sense there is a trap at the end of the hallway. Okay, may I see the end of the hallway? Ah, there we are. Uh, where specifically? R right about here. Alright, I shall move to here and attempt to, to here to attempt to disarm it. 30! You find the tr you find the trigger that would have sent the bowler rolling down the the rampway. Oh no! So I did. As, blah, did I succeed in disarming? You succeeded. As you turn Fantastic. the corner, as you turn the corner, you just see a little treasure chest. Nope. I shoot arc lightning at it. Nothing happens to it. Okay. Oh, let me let me mark that off for one of my one of my spells. Getting a little light on spells. I shall now check for traps. 28. There is an alchemist fight. Well, a landmine trap. Okay, I shall disarm said landmine trap. 21. Let me double check to make sure, but I believe <laughs> that should be The <laughs> explodes. <laughs> 21 just about does it. Hooray, I shall take the landmine and put it in my pocket. How many set you have now? Uh, let me tell you in just a second. Let me find it. Almost I have a, nine. Almost... I have nine landmines in my pocket now. God. Is the trap, or sorry, is the chest locked? The chest is locked. We'll see about that. T 34. The chest what is lock? no longer locked. There is no lock. You remove the lock. I made it, I made it vanish into the ether. So what's in the box? About 22,500 gold worth of jewels. Say that one more this? time. 2,000 what? 2,500 gold worth of jewels. 2,500 GP of jewels. I'm getting so fucking goddamn rich. I want to look. I want to do a perception check. 
and attempt to discover if there is a false bottom on this chest. Ooh. Let me see. Let's see what happens. Okay, this says I'm not looking for a trap. My perception goes down a little bit. Okay, it only goes down to an 18. 19! Yeah, good enough. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think it's there, so I'm going to go this way. All right. They're probably plus one. Oh, damn it. So it wasn't there. So uh, why is there a green X on this one? Because I locked it until we got back to it. Um, okay. That way nothing can come through. We also checked that door with a 29 perception. Was there a trap on it? No, there wasn't. No trap. There's no trap on it, Pazak. That is fascinating. I'm going to check it myself for the 30. <laughs> Still no traps. Okay, then. I trust you, but I'm going to verify everything you say. It's just the way I was raised. Yeah, they did almost get blown up a few times by traps. Is the door locked? The door is locked. 33 to unlock it. The door was locked. <laughs> Not anymore. Bazak is the door whisperer. Open. Open says me. 35 to do it stealthily. More like. Because I did it stealthy. I shall Just look down the hallway. You look down the hallway. With a 30 to see for traps. You see a fireball trap. I shall attempt to disarm the fireball trap, wherever it may be. 31 to disarm it, wherever it was. Was it here? Was it here? Was it here? Was it there? Wait, wherever was, it is. Was, was it to disarm? 31. Oh, yeah, that's enough. And it was actually just on top of the other door around. Let me get my point right back. There? Yeah. I see. I shall check this door specifically to see if there's any traps on it. 22. 22. Despite that, I can't lie, there are no traps on that door. <laughs> yes, there is a trap. It's the most cunning trap you've ever seen. Or didn't see. Ha <laughs> ha, is the door locked? Door is open. It's open. Okay, I shall try and open it like a ninja with a 30 stealth. All right, you open it with a 30 stealth. You see part of the room, and... I explode. A... No. Not that <laughs> evil. Not yet. <laughs> and Vazak immediately dissolves into a pool of acid. <laughs> you see the annoyed barb devil walking around. Oh, boy. Nope, nope, nope. Close the door. I don't want to go in there. I'm scared. Close the door, close the door. Well, technically, with all well, technically, if it's all six of us jumping on it, we should be able to take it out. Unlike the last one, where it was it and three bearded devils. What do you guys think? Possible. I still got a couple spells I can throw in its face. I say we um, take. We got this. In fact, you know what? It Hold AC's on. a twenty-six. So AC's a twenty-six. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like somebody's metagaming. I rolled high enough to identify this thing. Gary, psst, come here. Sam, Sam, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stand in front of me. Come here. A little closer. A little closer. There you go. You get off of me. Get off of me. Also, it's an, it's got an SR. What's that? Spell, Spell resist. resist. You as a barbarian fighter don't have to worry about that. Yeah. How high is your AC? My AC is 23. And when I go into rage, it's still a 23 because of uh, my totem powers. Mm -hmm. Let me check a spell real fast. Okay, C can we just explore some other part before we fuck with this thing? <sighs> Fine. Roll all my funds. Yeah. But I'm still going to look up the spell real fast. Just plus one for every six levels. In. Okay, so yeah, I was looking up Shield of Faith. Uh, right at this current level, it does a plus three to AC instead of a plus two. But I'm gonna do it this way. Have you already opened this door? It's open. 
Can somebody come and unlock it so I don't have to waste any lockpicking skills? All right, then. There you go. I'm going to move to this door and check for traps. I'm going to ask if I can borrow the keys from Car Kindle. All right, no traps. traps. Okay. I'm going to lock this door. <laughs> so yeah, then, I'm gonna, then I'm going to pull Sam out of this hallway, and I'm going to lock this door. <laughs> Sam, get out of there. Then I'm going to hand the keys back. Anyway, uh, 26 to look for traps on this door. No traps. Is the door locked? Door is locked. It used to be locked. It used to be locked. All right. And I so shall open, open it silently with a 26 open. stealth. Silently. And you see a small weapons room. <gasps> is it like a, a magical instant kill uh, Devil's Bane weapon in here? Well, there are cold iron weapons, cold arrows, fire arrows. A oh, couple wow. belts. I was, I was actually rings. making a joke. Okay, then. Before we go in there, before we go in there, I check for traps inside the room. There are no traps. Okay, then. Let's loot the shit out of this place. So, cold iron arrows, you say? Cold iron arrows. Um, I think cold iron only works on demons, not devils. Am I, am I right? Well, you also, have, you also have a few holy arrows in there as well. Oh! Vecrin! Vecrin! Yes? Vecrin. Holy arrows! How many? 30. Joink! <laughs> That's uh, a whole uh, quiver's worth! Uh, boom! Not boom! Do they explode? They don't explode! Wah, 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 wah. Are the arrows mimics? Are the arrows mimics? Very good, Ty. Very good. Does that hit your flat foot? <laughs> Wait, is like no, the chair or a misses. table attack us? It actually misses me. The table at the ta the the table and shells do attack. <laughs> Damn, you got me again. It misses me. Hey, well, that was worth we for anything. Where exactly is this mimic? I, I assume we're now in combat. <laughs> right there. So that would be oh. where Vikran was standing. Right, hold on, let me move it to where Vic. Yeah. And as you look around a little closer... How many more mimics? <laughs> it's like 50. Start opening fire! Oh god, they're everywhere! We're surrounded! This room was a lie! Oh god! So I'm gonna roll my initiative now. How big is oh, this? Oh, yeah. Put you guys in. You know, it could have just left us all in the initiative order, and we could have just changed what our initiative number one. Oh. Good point. Since we, there was only us in there, you just could have added the mimics and saved us all a bit of time. Yay, I don't go last. Yeah, you kind of have to beat me somehow. Yeah, but the Mimics still get to go first. They get a surprise round because we didn't see them. Because we didn't look for them. Although they rolled yeah. shitty initiatives. Oh, uh, actually, no, one rolled really good. They got a 24. The 24 is real good. Yeah. 9, 11, and a 24? Not too bad. Hey, what was it, Lerith? Oh, sorry, hold on. Apparently a 14. 
Well, let's stick it in there. You can change it. There we go. Don't need Ty to do it. But I do. Okay, good. It's the one that's not nearby me. All right, this man's going to curl up down here. Now, hey! Hey, how you doing, buddy? It's been a while. Hey, yeah, what's up? Please don't hey. hurt me. Oh, come on. <laughs> he shakes your hand like a friend. No. All right, moving on to the next moment. He's going to walk up to Vikran. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Oh, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll hit me. Yeah, you are grabbed. Well, he saved. And now you're grabbed. This man could come over here. And deal with your paladin friend. Actually, no. Would that that, would, uh, like that would trigger my um, uh, my uh. That would actually that would uh, no. Would that attack uh, do attack of opportunity? You if you're grabbed, well, I got my weapon my... and I've got improved uh, and I've got improved uh, quick draw. I'm always threatening as long oh. as I have a light weapon on me. Oh, well, good. All right, take your free shot. Even though you're grabbed, though. Yeah, yeah that's why. So you can use a light weapon when grabbed. Okay. Am right. I able to do one or no? Uh, he doesn't move through your threat square, if I'm not mistaken. Alright. But he misses too. Yeah. These mimics are having an off day. Well, Alright, back next to normal one. order. All right, Kirkin. All right, Pizak. He's going to attempt yeah, to give you a hug again, again, and hopefully not completely miss. And you are grabbed. Are you sure? What was 20, the attack? Twenty-five versus AC. Nah, totally misses. You can't touch me. He's still targeting your flat foot. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I was about to say that's a little bullshit. <laughs> I have only I only have a twenty-two AC anyway. All right, Alara. Well, she's grabbed, but wait, what, what was the attack against her? A twelve? That misses horribly. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Alara, your turn. So the first one hits. Uh, which will be the long Sam, sword. Throw your booze everywhere! Oh, I'll be ready. Shower me in your alcohol! Since we've already Oops. fought these, we already know alcohol works on them. <laughs> so she just did 10 damage with her primary attack. I'm going to roll a reflex to see if her sword gets stuck again. Oh, right. Forgot about that. Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what a worthless paladin. Fuck off, Shando. <laughs> See, uh, then it's plus six on the light shield. She actually hits with it. Does it get stuck too? Potentially. We don't know yet. Well, then roll it. Doing three damage. It does not get stuck. She still has her shield. <laughs> Your shield's only a D3? It's a light shield. Hmm. Okay. But the reason why light shield is because you can get light shields as quick draws and, um, what was it? Um, I don't care. Also, your hand is considered free, so a paladin can still use lay on hands while using a light shield. All right, Victorin. 
Okay, so to get out of this, I believe it's a counter uh, grapple check. I believe so. Okay. I can look it up real fast to make sure. Uh, opponents so grappled cannot get free with the mimic still alive without removing the adhesive first. So I've got to hold my action until Samuel could get to you. Yeah. Or you um, can like punch it. Well, yeah, I'm going to try and stab it. So I'm basically both swords are coming out. Stab it. Stab it good. Both hit. Actually, I get one more attack. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, damn. Womp womp. Eleven. Eighteen, actually. Then I'll roll for both weapons uh, independently. Oh, uh, my primary weapon gets stuck. <laughs> what What are your two melee weapons, by the way? I I, I don't believe we discussed it. Oh, okay. I I don't use them too often because well, bow is a much better with. Eventually, I will be boosting my Gladius a little bit, be being a bit more switch hit. Okadokus. My turn? Your turn. Fantastic. As much as I would love to shift into a better position, I can't because I'm grappled. Damn it, Ty. So instead, I shall attack you with my claws. I'm going to drop my quarter staff because I can't use it in this close quarters. And I'm going to go uh, Tengu Monk on you. <laughs> First attack and second attack, 18 and 20. Uh, they both hit. That will be a 1d3. 1d3. Oh, actually, I'll roll 2d3 since I hit with both, make it a little faster, add them together. Okay, yeah, okay, I don't have any strength, so. Five. <laughs> Five. All right. Slash, slash. I'll scratch your eyes out, you bitch. Come here. Let's let go of me. And that's all my turn, because I can't move. I'm grappled. All right. This man is going to look at Vikran and think, yo, you look tastier on the ground. Miss. Or not. What, what do you mean, or not? No, no, man, what he's you saying earlier. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. In other words, he was trying to hit you, and then he failed. So Yeah, I think bad. even my... Uh, yeah, in this case, I think I've got my flat foot CMD. My flat foot CMD is a 19. What do you mean? Is flat footed? Huh? Oh, I'm grabbed, so I'm thinking I'm considered flat foot. I inspire courage. Yeah. Thank okay. you, Remy. Maybe okay. number two. We love you, Remy. Don't ever I fail. I hope he doesn't hear. It's going to look at Samuel. Yeah, that would really suck if he's like, oh, there's a cell going on there. Let me go kill some fuckers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you, take the, you take 12 and you're grabbed. Kirkendall. I'm going to five foot to there. Does that mimic... Do mimics have spell resistance? I think... No. 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 
what you got to do. Admonishing Ray. Catouche! <laughs> 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 16 non-lethal, just so you're aware. Oh, does that hit its touch, AC? I sh forgot. Does 11 hit its touch? It's touch AC. Let me check. It just hits. Then it takes 16 non-lethal. Okay. Samuel. Which means if we bring its health down to to 16 or less, it will go unconscious because it has 16 non-lethal right. damage. Uh, yeah. Breaking out of a grapple, that would be a strength check? Not in this case. Are you in a grapple? I think he is. Well, I got hit with the adhesive grapple? attack. Um, okay, you've got to do that whole... you got to remove the adhesive first. You've got to start spreading that alcohol everywhere. All right. I'm busting out a cask and pouring it. Pour some sugar on me. And if I can, just spray the alcohol around the room to get as much on everyone as possible. Mm. All right, don't take freeing yourself using your own alcohol as your as your action for the round. Yeah, it's gonna take a full round action. It just takes the whole cast, just starts flailing around like a fuck. Yep. Well, also, I would argue that he's pouring it on this Mimic as well, so maybe Alara's sword is now freed. Well, it's also yeah, hitting the Mimics. Alright, the one Mimic that's out of Samuel's alcohol bag. So, how's this for Pizak? Uh, let's see. Constriction. 16 versus my CMD. My CMD is a 20. So, that will miss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unless you're, unless it's supposed to be against my flat-footed CMD. I assume you know what's going on by now. Do I? Never mind. Alara. You got your sword back. And now, now it's right. covered in alcohol, so the adhesive is no longer. I think Pi is trying to mind fuck me. I'm confused. 18 hit its AC? Yes, it does. And what was her second attack? Like shield. Uh, she misses on the second attack. Doing eight damage to this guy. All right, you do eight damage. I still am grappled, and this guy still holds on to one of my swords. Luckily, I have more weapons. Well, let's see you bust him out. Uh, just using quick draws and free actions and such, I'm going to switch um, my offhand sword to my on hand, and I'm going to pull out a kunai. Damn! I'm just hitting this thing. Yeah, really. Fuck it up! So that's for my for, uh, my initial sword attacks. That's for my offhand. And my and my kunai gets stuck this time. <laughs> <laughs> You're just slowly running out of weapons. Oh, don't worry. I've got another kunai, two daggers, and a butterfly knife. <laughs> it's just covered in weapons. It's just I just like picturing the movie just going, hey, all your weapons belong to me. Actually, would the alcohol still have an effect on its ability to grapple stuff? It can still grapple, it just doesn't have the adhesive. 
the yeah, adhesive is gone. It'd have to roll to grapple. So you could break the grapple now, theoretically. All right. Well, actually, I think it still has improved grapples. I think it still automatically grapples. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, the adhesive automatically grapples, but it's still holding uh, onto it. So it's just. I was checking it. to see what its feats were. It does not have improved grapple. Oh no, it doesn't. If it had improved grapple, it would grapple regardless of whether whether it had adhesive or not. But it does not. Yep. So now it has to actually roll to grapple, yep. rather than doing an attack and automatically grapple. Yep. Well, Bizarre. Um, I'm going to attempt to break the grapple. I believe. I believe I could use Dex to do this, can't I? Wait, wait. wait. How'd you get covered in alcohol? Didn't he just say he threw it all over the fucking room? I did. Did he throw it all over the room, Ty? Yes. That's what he, he fucking did. said. He did. Oh, then actually, um, I've got to re-roll that uh, second one because I would be getting my um Gladius back. Too late. You should be able to use an escape artist to break free of a grapple too. Escape artist is a uh, skill. Make that and, um, instead uh, add an additional three, uh, add an additional four yes. damage to the like I was fighting Ty. Oh, it is. Never mind. Yeah, I'm going to use escape artist. I thought it was. I thought I used Dex. I forgot what edition I was in. I'm going to use escape artist to break the grapple. Plus eight. Does a twenty-seven allow me to escape the grapple? Against what? Against his grapple. Uh, it's against his CMD. Ah, I think that would do it. Let me double check. Yes, it's CMD's it a twenty. Does. Fantastic. I'm gonna use it to take a five-foot step this way. For my movement. Dango shuffle. Dango shuffle. Dango shuffle. Unfortunately, I used my standard to escape the grapple, so I can only set up the possibility of a Tengu Shuffle. I cannot do it myself. But that is my turn. This move this doesn't like the fact that the whole room smells like alcohol. Really strong alcohol. alcohol. We all smell like drunks now. We all smell like dwarves. He's probably going to try and uh, constrict Vikram. No, we'd have to not take a bath for like four weeks and be covered in alcohol to smell like a dwarf. Actually, you'd have to take a like bath drugs. in beer. That's right. Yeah, we have to actually bathe in the beer, not just. That's right. Victor didn't beer. try to break free yet, so. Nope, I'm just stabbing him repeatedly. Oh, yes. what the? <laughs> I bop it on its head. No, bad. Three, no, stop me. it. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. Bad. No. 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 Shame wait, on wait. you. Remy, are you doing the Inspire Courage? Yeah, he's, she's been doing the whole time. Ty added additional six damage to this guy. You gotta six remember damage. this shit, Vikran. Oh, uh, damn it. My assumption is as soon as uh, a Remy has a turn, I assume Inspire Courage happens, unless otherwise stated. Yep. <sighs> Japan, do something. Save us! Save us! Press the digitation! Make it pink! <laughs> <laughs> so, magic missile, how much damage you do? 4d4. Then roll 4d4. I believe it's 4d4 plus 4, yeah. Yeah. 13 damage! Pew! 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 Yeah, which one was it? The phone. Hey, right, this minute. Punch Sam in the face for throwing alcohol on it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, not a bad idea. Wait, Sam still cause Sam still grab, isn't he? Technically, yes. He's just not stuck to it. Yeah. Well, it's about time I got something. Hey! So it's only 13 damage I take, then? Yep. Yeah, it's still, it's, it's, st it's still something compared to all the other failed construct attempts. <laughs> you feel a few ribs start to crack as it starts to just squeeze you on a big bear hug of mimicness? It likes the beer. Dango Shuffle! Dango Shuffle with a court staff. It still takes an op against you to move there, though. Uh, he can roll, um... 
what was it, uh, acrobatics to dodge through that. He could, but he hasn't. There He's it fine. Is. He's fine. 31 to get through, 28 to hit it. All right, so you get through and hit it. Sneak attack. It's, it's slash R, not roll slash. <laughs> 17 damage. Woohoo! Is it still alive? Is it still alive? It won't be for long, because my turn's coming up soon. Samuel! All right. I got two claw attacks waiting to happen. Well, I gotta first break out of this guy. You could also just bite him. And risk my teeth oh, wait, getting stuck? No, you stuck? can only bite during the rage. Never mind. Yeah, risk my teeth getting stuck? There's no more adhesive. All right. Besides, if your teeth got stuck, I would just tell you to bite him harder. Actually, Punch the down. Uh, theoretically, could I pop into a rage and then uh, roll to get out? Uh, yes. Maybe? I want to say that's possible. Alright, then. Rage. Brings it to that. Plus that. Almost forgot the plus two. 22 to get out? Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright. And do I still have ability to do attack? No, it's a standard action to break a grapple. Eh. Yeah. You could do a five-foot step there. If I do yeah. that, would I help. would I risk a, what's it called, a blah, blah, blah. Attack of opportunity? No, nope. five foot steps. Five foot step. Five foot yep. steps. The only way to avoid taking an attack during all right, there going we go. through a, a um, threatened area. There's also a withdraw action, but that's a very specific type of action. It only gives you five. That feet requires a full round attack. A full round action. Yes, it does. Unless you're me, and when you do sneak attack, you could do it as a action. Because I have a feat for that. All right, Kirk Indole. It didn't like you popping his head with a sword. With a I would staff. imagine so, because he doesn't have one. I have quarter magic staff. quarterstaff. Magic quarterstaff feels like sword. <laughs> Miss. Well, magic quarterstaff gets to live another day. Come on, oh, I want to oh, shuffle oh. this fucker so hard. I want to shuffle him so hard! <laughs> I want my turn to come up. Wait, did he miss? He did. He, he missed. missed. Yep. Okay. It's your paladin's turn. I think that's a miss. I think that's also a miss. It is. You missed so hard. I think the paladin has failed its turn. Thick yeah, Rin. happens. God, the rolls. Oh, hey, that's a good one. Yeah. Law of fucking averages, man. Oh, God. What's the damage for that one? Five. Uh, oh, jeez. No, that five That five was an attack, not oh. a damage. Yeah. He, he, Seawall's doing all of his attacks first, then his damage. Yeah. And then four damage. Hmm. Did this one up here? Sorry. Six damage. Forgot the Raimi bonus. Get that guy right there. As the Mimic goes back and shuffles into whatever position Mimics go to, it transforms back into the shelf it once was and passes away. Does it? No, it just dies there. No, I, mean, I was about to say, I don't remember it shape-shifting when it dies. Yeah, it just die. Well, this one does, because Ty wants it to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Because yeah. shut up, that's why. Oh, oh, oh. Do it! Hold on, wait, wait. 
just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I get plus 11 to both these attacks. No! Do it! I get a plus 13, thanks to Remy and the flanking. <laughs> do it! 30 and 24. Both claws. They hit. Oh, yeah. This is the first time I've gotten to do this. You haven't seen this shit yet. I could get sneak attack on both of these attacks. Do it. So that's a 2d3 plus 4, thanks to Remy, because these are two separate attacks. So I get a plus 2 on both of them. Plus 4d6. Wouldn't it be 8 for doubled? Sorry, you're right. Thank you for reminding me of that. Yes, know how to do your character next time. And each of those gets a plus two because of Remy. Is this, is this movie going to survive? 45 damage, does it? Fuck no, it didn't. <laughs> die, 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 die! It was, it was tangled, shuffled into oblivion. This is fucking Pazak's full attack mode, motherfucker. <laughs> High five. The, the claws don't do much damage, but I get sneak attack on both of them if they both hit in the flank. And then I shall pick up my quarterstaff. Remy, you can get on the, in on this too if you want to stab this guy. All right, there is still one still alive, isn't it? Yep. yep. I don't know if I stab it. Wait, do you even have a sword? No. What the fuck is Remy's melee weapon? Should be any sort of light weapon. Why has it got to be light? She's a dex based build. So? Why has so, it got to be light? Light weapons, you can use your dex in place of strength. Why has it got to be light? Why can't she? Why is she allowed to have a one handed weapon? Why can't it be a dark? Yeah. Why you gotta be so racist? The, the, the term light is kind of just a general term for most finesse weapons. Theoretically, if she had the... Why's it gotta be a light weapon? Why can't it be anything else? Why can't Remy pick her own fucking weapons? Remy, do something before these two get, get at it. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Come on, Japan, make a decision. Jim Pan. Yo, Jim Pan. Jim Pan. Uh, Jim Pan's muted himself. Oh, magic missile. Boom. I forgot. It did my thing. <laughs> so, 16 damage. How many more of those spells do you have? I put my name. Alright, the Mimic is going to try to decide which character he wants to get revenge on the most. The Paladin. Totally the Paladin. Yeah. Not me. I don't want to get hit anymore. Well, it's yeah, kind of out of range. Go after Pazak, because then he gets three attack of ops. You say that, but... Try and run away. Please run away, Trap. Against Illyria. It misses horribly. She bops it with her shield. No! Fuck it up! Fuck it up! Use your claws! The claws! The claws! The claws! Tenguro claws, OP! That is. And the second one? It's a quarter staff, and I move more than ten. Oh. Why you no use claws? For seventeen damage. And as that's last, and as your last claw comes down, the mimic quarter staff quarter staff comes down upon his head. The mimic looks up and shakes and shudders before collapsing and 
dying off. Okay, Samuel, start ripping these guys apart. All right. That's how you kill it, guys. See, three of y'all couldn't handle one of y'all. We took out one by ourselves. So, I have a suggestion, everyone. Mm -hmm. I vote we barb up the we barred up these barricade these doors <laughs> and we take a nap. Yes. For the day. Extended rest so we can all heal and get all our stuff back. Yeah. Spells. If we level up, I can actually, you know, get uh whatchamacallit uh I think at level eight I get. We can't level up in the middle of a fucking session. That's stupid. Yeah. So the eighteenth set open up a chest. Uh no. All right, I rush to. <gasps> help me, help me. Uh, okay. I will attempt to open the one that he failed to open. Inspire competence. Oh wow, I rolled it again. Oh, what does inspire assists? competence do? Plus two. Uh, I don't think yeah. that affects our ability to open chests. Um, twelve strength. <laughs> No. Uh, I do it. I'm assisting. Last hand and Carkindle oh. pulls. Carkindle pulls it off at the final buzzer. Carkindle stronger than all of y'all. So, <laughs> so that was the first one. What about the second one? Rushing second twenty-one. One. Samuel Samuel blitz tackles open the second one. And the third one. <sighs> no and no, no. People no. assisting people. Assist. Fifty. I help. Yes. Just there we in, go. just in time. <laughs> we're all just roll roll all the things. So, what did we get out of the three chests? Okay, first chest you actually do find the thirty holy arrows. Thirty Yoink. holy arrows. I'll let Yoink. Yeah, I'll let Vikran take care of those. What else we got? You find another Hurricane Quarterstaff in the second one. Okay. Third one. Hurricane. Uh, what's a good? What's a what's a good staff. what's a good weapon for Remy? Uh, I don't know. Um, what is it? A rapier is a pretty common one. Uh, whips are pretty common for. Uh, bards. What else? You find a loot and a whip. I don't know where the loot. I don't know what you'll do with the loot, but there you go. Yay. Yeah. I assume you're gonna lock down this room and go to sleep for the night. I would like to, but I have to wait for the party's approval. Yeah. No one's no one's agreed with me yet. I, I'm good because I can sleep for only two hours, so I'm sleep would be good. I I guess I'm gonna have to burn some of those medical supplies we came across and try and patch everyone up. No, I'll just blow all my spells right quick, like. Oh, before, yeah. before, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. and, if there's any, and if there's any uh, shortcomings, I uh, play a few points here and there, I might be able to help out. I'm going to cast Cure Critical Wounds on myself. Uh, Laura's fully healed using her <laughs> last usage of uh, that. Um, oh. I'm short by... About 20 HP. Take 19, Sam. Take 13. 19 for me? Okay. 19 for Vikram. 13 for Sam. Alright. Who is it full yet? I still got a couple more spells left. I, I'm i four away from full. Yeah, you could get that overnight. There I don't you go. Need to heal you. you got it. <laughs> Alright, who still isn't full? I don't think anyone. I think we're all full now. Okay. Okay. Let's all go to sleep. Yeah, Let's lock the door. Have... Lock the door. Lock the door. Yeah, we're locking all these doors, barricading the shit out of them. I'm going to take the bodies of the mimics, and I want to move them in front of this door. Just pile them there. Yeah. I'm... Should we check on the people we have locked in our room upstairs? No. I think they're fine. Fuck them. They're, they're still there or they've already left. I don't give a shit. We locked the door. Who cares? 
I'm gonna make sure that they get food and water. Okay. Oh, see you in the morning, buddy. Oh. Zark, help me make traps around the doors just in case. Okay. Uh, back, gentlemen. What kind of traps do we want to make? I don't know how much rope you need. <laughs> well, I need to know what kind of traps we're making first. Trip wire, you're on each of the doors then. All right, I'm going to put, actually, you know, I'm going to put a snare trap in front of both of the doors in this room. All right, two snare traps. Uh, it's a plus 12, okay. Uh, 18 on the first one, and 27 on the second. So, this one's an 18, and that one's a 27. Now, back to my spell preparation. Three, four. Okay. So, one, two, three... Level three. Well, I'll be right back again. I'll be back. I think he went AFK just a second ago. Well, we weren't going to play past six anyway, so it's not like it's going to be that much of a shorter session. Except for the fact that we started later, but that's not a big deal. Weapon per level, no tool which can be part. So, yeah, I could do everybody's level 11. Okay, whenever Ty gets back, we'll be able to do this fight. Because I believe I am ready. Okay, just do a quick check on my spells. I check the duration of the spell. All right, I'm back. Shield of faith last one minute per level. Okay. Sorry about that. Do I favor? You last one minute. Okay.
Okay, I'm going to guess these errors are probably only plus one uh, holy. I am ready. You are ready? I am ready. Oh. Samuel? Yeah. All right, I should, get, I should get in front of the door, I suppose. Everyone come and gather around me. It's time to it's time to holify your fucking weapons. Um I've got the arrows, so don't worry about me. Okay. I can cast um, it on your bow itself, and I can cast on the seven different weapons. Uh well adding holy Okay, add, yeah, then start casting it. Does adding holy also like add damage to or what it does holy. it's called weapons against evil. It allows you to ignore the damage resistance against an a evil creature whose damage resistance is overcome by uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me try and say this again. Let's see. Weapons against evil. Uh, each weapon this spell affects each signs with a pale light that dimly illuminates a five foot area, and these weapons also ignore damage of evil creatures. Of DR of five or lower. Yes. This thing has a DR of ten. Well, then, fine, then. Fuck you, then. If that's Let's the case, my charity. If that's the case, I think my I my rage power lets me ignore damage resistance for that stuff. Yeah, it does. But then spare my charity, will you? Um, would it be reducing the DR? But I don't know if there's any situation where you can reduce a DR. All it says is it lets you ignore it. Sweet. Regardless, Sam. I'm going yes. to cast Shield of Faith on you. All right. Before you enter that room. You get a plus three to AC. Plus three to my AC. Okay. I shall also cast Divine Favor on myself, increasing my attack and damage by plus two. All right. Okay. Shield of Faith lasts for seven minutes on you, and Divine Favor will last for one minute on me. So go get him, boy. All right. Rage up and get in there. <laughs> All right. Hop into a rage, and I enter the room. Let's see, how far can I go then? As a barbarian, you should be able to move like 40 feet. I just wanted to see, like, the distance specifically. Pop well, into assuming a he's still there, he's been there for, like, six hours. <laughs> well, I go into rage and enter the room. Right. Ty, is he still in the same spot? Uh, he will be about here. In the pillar? <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, here, and then here. Alright. I gotta do that. Do you have to roll? Attack to roll. Us. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, that was actually to AC. Alright. Oh, yeah, you had the uh, plus two. Okay. Yeah. Really, have you started singing before we kick this door down? What? Did Remy start singing before we kick the door down? Uh, he never said. Yeah, I think... Probably not. I... Well, yay, no? Yeah. No, okay. Well, against this guy? Oh, potato! Miss. Against flat foot, they would hit. All right, flat foot. All right. Yeah, that's why Remy wasn't singing because if she oh, was, he would have heard us coming. Yeah. Thirteen damage. Woohoo! Uh, Thirteen damage. Wait. I guess uh, I'm gonna five foot yeah, okay. step, and I'm gonna uh, launch. Three holy arrows at this fuck. Wait, actually, is that? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. Let me just double check the boosts. Um, I am going to do rapid shot with deadly aim. Oh well, damn! Those hit no matter what. All hit. All hit. Oh, Jesus Christ, because this also activates my stealth attack, because he's a favorite enemy. Oh, God. <laughs> it's 
Sorry, I'm, I'm still doing the math right now. Don't worry about it. Ninety-six damage. What the? Ninety-eight. <laughs> Ninety-eight damage. He gave me holy arrows. That gives you two d six. Fuck. Yeah. Why do you think I want this weapon to be a holy weapon? It fucks over anything evil. <laughs> well, so, is it still alive, Ty? Barely. <laughs> All right, my turn. I'm gonna come into the room. Um. You said it has spell resistance, right? Yeah, I believe so. What do I have to do to overcome spell resistance? You roll your caster level. That's it. Are there are ways to... Um, I can't remember what it's called. 23. Does that beat it? Yes, it does. Uh, it only has a 23. All right. I yeah. cast Spear of Purity at it. Hold on. Where's my mouse? There it is. Spear of Purity. You hurl a pure white or golden spear of light from the from your holy symbol, affecting any one target within range as a ranged touch attack. Evil creature struck by the spear takes 1d8 points of damage per two caster levels. Evil outsiders instead take 1d6 per caster level. So, da -da -da. well, hold on. Let me uh, do the attack first. Yeah, you've got to roll a 10. Ranged attack against touch attack. Touch AC. A flat foot touch, actually. Oh, in that case, I just have to roll higher than a 10, then. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, my range is a nine. I hit. Yeah. You would hit normally. That was a right. regular. Let's see. An evil outsider takes 1d6 per cast level up to a maximum of 10. So that's slash r 7 d6 and is blinded for one round. A successful will save reduces the damage to half and negates the blind effect. Spell deals only have damage against creatures that are evil, no good. Da, da, da. Okay, never mind. Okay. So, uh, I need a will save from you, Ty. Seventeen. Let me check my DC on the spell. Spear of Purity is a second level. Second level is a sixteen. Yep, you beat it. So mm -hmm. you reduce that by half. So you take thirteen damage instead. <laughs> so yeah, three holy arrows burning him. Then oh god, the light, the spear. You want to try to finish it off before we actually have combat? Uh, theoretically, will. Remy, Karkendall, and the Paladin still have one action to do. Uh, I'll come point. in and I'm gonna cast Barb Chain on it. Three attack. Sweet. No, no, no. Then I do nothing. That was all against flat footed, right? That was yeah. all against flat footed. Yep. Okay. It's flat footed oh. is twenty. Oh wow. <laughs> it's flat footed, it's no joke. Uh now well, I was gonna go in there but go on full defense. Okay. Hey, what does full defense and do? And I guess this is the point Remy starts singing. Total defense, I believe, gives uh, you a plus four or five AC, but no attacks. She she can't attack it, but she can at least be a tempting target. Am I correct, Seawall? I'm I'm not I don't remember I'm how double checking. Uh, you can defend yourself as a standard action. You get a plus four dodge bonus to your AC for one round. Your AC improves at the start of this action. You can cannot combine total defense with fighting defensively or the benefit of combat expertise feat. You, can, you can't make a tax opportunity while using total defense. Yeah, so she, yeah, her AC went up by four. Yeah, she's now at a 28. Oh. Oh, are we initiative. rolling initiative now? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Aha! I rolled a nine. I got a four. I got a 22, bitches! Yeah, but I'm hiding behind you. Go get him. <laughs> Sorry. 
It's a shame that my divine favor bonus does not affect spells. Otherwise, that spear would have done a lot more. Uh, boy, everybody ready? I am ready. I am. Has anyone? Has everyone done their initiative? Yep. So I get to go first. First, I have to overcome its spell resistance again because I'm casting another spell at it. Nineteen. Uh oh. No. SR is twenty-two. Damn. Oh well. In that case, you get to look pretty one, good. One, two, three, four, five, six. I shall move there. I All assume right. I still burn the spell, even though I don't make it. Yeah. Against, right. Okay. That's one of the nasty things about spell resist. Nah, I just want to make sure. So I wasted one of my holy javelin spells. Samuel, right. you go. Whole round, baby. Tech. Take a five foot step first. Oh, you need to take a five foot for that? Yes, oh, go yeah. there. Use the paladin. God, right. Hit hit you boost. Damn thing. Okay, so then that becomes a 28 then. Yes. That hits. That's a hit. Attack two. Next attack. That definitely hits. <laughs> Is that, was that your spear? That'd be the spear end. What's the threat range of a spear? For, I think Uragash is just an X2 weapon. It does it. Okay, never mind. Key. Continue. Yeah. yeah. Next attack. Uh, let's see. What was the third, one third attack? Third attack. Third attack. Yeah, I almost typed in plus 215. That's not what I want to write. No. Well, I mean, we would love that, but no, that's not nope. the right number. Still versus flat, but just oh. let you know. Oh, and yeah. how is it still against flat footed? It hasn't acted yet in this round. Oh, right. And... So, yeah, that one that hit then. And, and it's been bite. a while. <laughs> 22 it to hits. bite. This is just our spite at this point, isn't it? <laughs> so, all, right, all four attacks hit then, right? Roll your damages. Roll all the damages. And I'll tell you how far you knocked it into the hole. <laughs> See, uh, monsters second. become way easier when you get to jump on it instead of it jumping on you. Exactly. And when it's by itself. <laughs> yeah. We technically just hit four levels above our weight class, but we did kind of, you know, play a little bit. We had a lot of advantages sense. going into this fight. One, we yeah. knew it was coming, and we were able to prepare specifically for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, we're all, and we're all fresh instead of it jumping on us when we were weak. So we had a massive advantage in winning this fight. But I, I, I say this again, everyone, because we're fighting so many evil creatures, get holy on your weapons, please. I'll con I will consider it, but there's other enchantments I want instead. I, I know. You're an exception. You're, um, you use a lot of your, what was it, um, uh, sneak attack stuff. Let's see if this works. Uh, you, you should do the D's separately. But yeah, that should be roughly what it is. So, 53 damage. As you smash it with your Urgosh, and it pillar with your spear, and the fifth of Dwarven Rage you lift in the air, yell really loud, and rip it apart! Piece by piece. <laughs> Until it's nothing but a shower of blood, needles, and dead Devil. The whole time he's yelling, "This is for hurting my Tengu friend." Yes. Ah! Did I, mean, I? Did the hair turn blonde? Not yet. For for a half second. <sighs> Vengeance. Never hurt my friends. <laughs> so, how's the paladin reacting after seeing that? She's all wet inside now. No. <laughs> <laughs> her nipples are hard enough to pierce her armor. No. <laughs> Evil doer vanquished. She's happy. Combat is over for obvious reasons. You don't say. So I'm going to go to this door first. No. Want to be in this square? No. Damn it. Ah, your grit sucks. Anyway, I'm going to check for traps. 36. 
<laughs> you find the electric trap there. <laughs> I shall the... attempt to disarm the electrical trap. 25. Not catastrophic, but you don't succeed. I shall attempt to do so again. 33. Zoth, you... if you lick it, it will become yours. That's you not disarm... how it works, damn it! I keep you disarm... telling you, now stop licking my stuff! Use this to arm it. Is the door locked? The door is locked. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> I will now attempt to open the door silently. 30 for stealth. You open the door silently. What do I see? <gasps> A hallway. What do your tango eyes see? Give me sight beyond sight as I check for traps. 34. No traps. I shall... I want to stealth up to this corner and look around these corners. Alright. 32 to stealth. You look around and you just see a couple of normal human, normal, after all the crap, you just see a couple of normal swordsmen walking around. What about this corner over here? This corner. What are the human swordsmen doing? They just fucking around, they play with their dicks, they like fucking each other, like what are they doing? Uh, they're fucking, they're fucking around. Talk about how cute a couple of the clerics are. I see. Well, how many of them are there? Sort of the ass. Uh, only two. Only two. That is great. I'm going to. Are you gonna hit one of them with the sap and just wail on him till he goes down? I'm going to. I'm going to quickly run at this one here and just try and nail him with the sap. Don't you want to bring me into this? Because, you know... <laughs> Shabam! 12 against their flat foot. I actually have to check, because I'm pretty sure that misses. <laughs> if he's wearing armor that's stronger than two. He might be wearing leather, you don't know. Flatfoot? No. Oh well. I fail! No knockout for Tango this time! I'm gonna summon a Hound Archon behind that one and have it attack. Aha! The summoner has returned. We have missed you greatly. Go ditto! That's the attack? Uh, yeah. That hits. Ditto! What the? Does that hit its flat foot? Nope. Does that hit its flat foot? No, it doesn't. Does that hit its flat foot? Yes, How it many does. attacks does it get? Two great swords and a bite. Holy shit. Are you doing lethal damage with that? Yes. Probably. That's one great sword. And a bite, so 28 damage. All right, 28. Does anyone else have anything they yes, want? Yes, I'm going to tackle this guy. So that Pazak can beat the shit out of him with this sap. Okay. Does 30 hit his flat foot CMD? Yes, it does. Yeah, we're, hey. I'm currently trying to pin him on the ground. Uh, this guy is. Hey, Ty, are they evil? Well, it's evil as regular mercenaries do get. Uh, is this guy still alive? I think he met in the alignment. So... No, 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 They're neutrals. Uh, again, is this guy still alive? 
If so, I'm gonna tackle him. He's alive. Is this in the room? Can we see the rest of this room? No, your eyes can't see that room. I have low light. I can see the. I can see better than anyone else in this party. Uh, Alara can see better than sixty feet. Dark vision. Bullshit. Twenty-five. No, yeah. She has dark to vision. CMD. Bullshit. She has dark vision. Bullshit. I mean, whether she can find something hidden or not, I mean that you probably have the advantage, but she's got dark vision. Bullshit. Oh, she's boy. only a half elf. No, she's an elf. She just has drow ancestry. So twenty-five hit CMD. Yes, it does. All right, he's tackled on the ground. <laughs> Goes out saying, my hand is over his mouth. Same with mine. I shall now begin to beat them unconscious. <laughs> Would you like me to make rolls, or do we just want to do it? We're just going to assume you succeed. And the Archon will punch it until it's unconscious. Smack, 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 smack. That was me punching my fist. Or yes. punching Yes. Archon wants to group hug it with you. Okay. We'll crush, it. crush it. Let's crush. Let's hug. We anyway, I'm hug. gonna go down this way and look around this corner. Now that they're unconscious. I'll, uh, I'll ask Karkin to do so. so Tie these guys up. Stealthily. You look down the corridor and you see, and they're safe. Oh, oh, they're question. safe. And they're. What do they just... have on them? Uh, just some chainmail armor and two... I check for traps down this hallway. Words. No trap. I shall shoot no an icicle spell at the safe to make sure it's not a mimic. <laughs> it's not a mimic. I could have fired a single arrow at it, you know? I could have become could paranoid. Have. Or I could have just shot an icicle at it. Alright, so he's unconscious. I shall now look for traps on the thing the fuck it. The safe. 37. You see the landmine. I shall now disarm the landmine. 26. I don't think that does it, but it's not catastrophic. Let me double check. Boom! Boom goes Kaboom! Oh, God! No, it disarms it. Go. You see this, like, puff of feathers from the hallway? Uh, it disarms it. It disarmed it? It disarmed I shall take it and put it in my pocket. And now you have ten landmines. Yeah, I have now ten you landmines. None of them landmines when something goes off on you. Technically, they're disarmed, so they're, they can't explode. Also, aren't you putting them in your uh, handy haversack where they're in another dimension where they'll be safe? That's not how it works. No, it's extra dimensional space. It reduces its weight, yes, but it's not an entirely different dimension. It's still in the bag. The bag is in extra dimensional space. That is how it's literally described. Regardless, with whatever the fuck Seawell's talking about and his nonsense, I'm going to try and... Um, is, the, is the safe locked? It's locked. Are you sure? 37. Probably not as locked as it once was. <laughs> <laughs> I shall open it. What do I find inside? It's not much for compared to... You find system. another mimic! Oh, God! You the know, I could be, inside the safe. I could be that much of a dick, but it's only five hundred gold this time. Five hundred gold. And the map. It's only five hundred gold. That's not like a shit ton. Ooh, a map. map. I'm gonna map. take the map. That's map. useful. Map. map. I shall map. look at the map. What do I see on the map? Okay, let me start revealing some areas. Oh, let me zoom out then. Ring. Hey. hey. So, do we want to continue cleaving the rest of this room, or just go down to the, or the rest of this floor, or just uh, go down to the next level? I think we should clear it out, just so we don't have a... Uh, In case there's guys behind us. Yeah. Okay. It's better to have, you know, worn one front than two. Alright, which door do we want to go with? Oh, and, um... Oh, God! What? Yeah, I Jesus. forgot. I forgot I could just disable the fog of war. Magic. Whew, okay. 
This makes it slightly confusing on which eras we've ar we've already been to and which ones we have not. Ty, but... just tell us where their mo opponents are and where special stuff are, and we'll just quickly clean them out. Because <laughs> we're going to search everything. All right, you search the whole room. So I'll I'll give you a quick the whole rundown. floor. The whole floor. I'll give you a quick rundown of everywhere else. You find more. You find more dancing girls here. This room. Okay. We as well as up. as well as several swordsmen. Well, you, you find a sec you, them. you find a sec you find a second medical supply room here. Right. We steal all that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Down here is the other sick bay. We steal all their stuff. I'll escort the dancing girls up to the room where have all the other dancing girls. Keep them in one place. Keep things simple. And between this and this are two of the sleeping barracks. Are there people inside of them? Uh, Yeah, about ten each, but all of them are asleep. I slit all of their throats. Jesus. I'm just okay. kidding. I just tied them to their bed. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> we got in there, and we're gonna... The tangos are gonna tie them down. Yeah, we're just gonna tie them to their bed. I just wanna see your guys' reaction when I said I slit their throats. <laughs> you can I'm see our reactions? Sex. I'm only wow. a thief. Do what? You can see our reactions? Wow. Very impressive. Yeah. And, go, and going through all the... And now that you have the idea of where all the treasures and jewels are, you find at least... I say about five thousand, five thousand gold worth of jewels, treasures, and knickknacks. Five thousand GP of jewels and knickknacks. On to the next floor, I assume. Yes. Yes. I, I should floor. also note when you find when you actually do approach a staircase. It does look like it's been built a lot later than the rest of the rest of the place. So it's cleaner looking. Yes. Okay. It's newer looking. Ooh, Hopefully, this, this floor won't be nearly as big as the last one. This place is huge. It's quite long. Where are we starting yet? I right don't there. know. According to what information the map oh. told you, this is the main. This area contains the main uh, barracks. So, shit ton of guys on this floor, then. Yep. Fantastic. Let's go this way. Also, I would like to note they put a lot of traps in this place that they expect guys to disarm and rearm as they walk through it. I know, well, right? well. To be fair, all the electrical traps rearm themselves automatically. It's just that I assume you all run through it before it it rearms itself. Carrie, how long do you still got left? Uh, until minutes? yeah, about that. So yeah. now, I guess now would be a good time to cut off the set. Yeah, I was about to say, would well, now be a good time to to. All right, so you did survive a lot of the bullshit I threw at you, so. You're at level Barely. nine. <laughs> level eight. Level eight. Oh, no, 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 he's been level nine. nine. He said level nine. nine. I want to go eight. level eight. eight. <laughs> I want to skip level eight and go straight to nine. <laughs> if a DM's saying you can move up to a level a little higher than what you're supposed to, just stay quiet. Never correct yeah, the teacher. Don't, <laughs> Don't correct the teacher. Don't correct the teacher. All right, I'll up my myself to level eight. I almost said level nine. Level eight is what I'm gonna say. Seven more HP, yay! Uh, well, go. I'm. I think I'm gonna be grabbing favorite terrain desert because, well, why the hell not? Well, there is a whoo hell yeah level well, fucking hell yeah. Ninety HP. Seven. Six. That puts me at fifty HP. I'm at forty-seven. You're only 11 behind me. I'm at 61. Uh, ha, ha, fuck you. Oh, Some of us don't have a constitution modifier. Sounds like a personal problem. Oh, is this the level where we get... Shut up and go get hit in the face with a fucking brick. 
I'm going to upgrade my deck. You want to get out of the way. You like to take it first. That would have been four or six where we get our ability score improvement. I have a 20 dex now, bitches. Yay. My intelligence just jumped to 16. Also, oh, with the level where we can increase our points. Good. Yeah, you can upgrade one ability score by one point. I just gonna remember if it was this level or like a different level. It's every four levels. So level four, level eight, <laughs> level sixteen. Sorry. I forgot twelve. What's more important? Uh, yes, I forgot 12. Strength or constitution? Level twelve, then level sixteen. I'll go with strength. I have knowledge. And I'll upgrade the rest of my character sheet another day. No, do it now. I command it. Do it. Do, do it. it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Screw it. Blew it. Oh, boy. Blew it. Do it. Don't do it. I've actually got to redo the math for uh, skills. It. Okay, so. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, so I get 10 skill points alone from Ranger, Int Modifier, and Favored um, class. Then an additional 2, I think, from a couple of fighter abilities. Alrighty. So, that was fun. Just. Let this be a lesson to you, Ty. We we really need to sit you down and discuss how CR challenge rating works. All right. Yeah. So there's a good page on the. The higher the CR it is compared to the overall party's level, the less of the monsters you should have thrown at us at those times. Because here's here's the ironic thing, I grabbed the beer devils on by accident. It was meant to have been four barbed devils, but my, oh fuck, which would have murdered us. If it's a CR eleven, we can only handle one of them. with a lot of prep. Yeah, which you prep. which you clearly had when you and had... the dice was on our side in that case <laughs> in yes. that in that rematch. Yeah, that also is a great example to show what happens when you're able to prepare for the fight versus when it's thrown at you. Yeah. Well, obviously, when it jumps on us, we have a huge disadvantage. But if we know it's coming, we have a massive advantage because we can. Especially you know, since you it. handed me basically the delete evil button. <laughs> That's really why. That's life. the other reason I did. I was like, okay, these, <laughs> this guy's tough. Let me hand you some holy, ar holy arrows. They're not gonna affect the final ball, the the dungeon boss, if you will. Is there yes. any trouble with the uh, the uh, Pathfinder? Well, if SRD? the dungeon boss is considered evil, as an evil creature, those arrows work on anything evil. Two, two merc, two mercenary captains and a cleric. I'm assuming you don't convince her not to fight. I have a plus 19. Actually, no, it's a plus 20 now because I just leveled up. <laughs> hey, Ty? <Tyler? laughs> yeah? The spells that I cast, am I still losing them or do I get them back because I leveled up? Uh, you know what? You'll get, I'll let you reset this one time since you're still in the dungeon. Hey! hey. Woohoo! Go me! Reparation. Hey, hey, you, st hey you still have another... This floor, the next floor, and the boss floor. 